Welcome to the second part of Hyatt Junction and the pond created on a layout. You can see it's next to the branch line what goes up to Tiffy Valley. If we just pan around you see Tiff Valley Station up on the top there. And uh, this west line heads up to, we just see sitting there at the moment, it's a class 37 with good wagons. But there's the pond I've created. I used it by um, building it up with, um, once again, my favourite um, substance, um, bonding plaster. And uh, so then you can mould, you can shape it and uh, create the bank. And then here, where it hasn't been painted, is where the water will be. Um, so I've got to paint that watercolour, I'll show you in a minute. And at the back there, you can see is, that is sand, that's the kiln sand I use, or I use for the roads. I use that for um, as the shoreline and the bank of the pond where the fishermen will be standing. There may be a beached rowing boat as well there. I haven't decided if that would be beached or in the middle of the pond. Um, I thought I'd give the same sort of um, scale as as, a, as it would do a, a you know shoreline of a pond where people could stand and then obviously this what's painted brown already will be grassed with static grass and scrub so sort of like this sort of stuff around the edge and run along here would be a fence i don't know if that would be a, a, a post and wire fence or slat fence um rail fence i haven't decided yet and i'll probably have like a couple of children um against the fence waving to the train drivers and the trains that pass by. So I've done that. I've done that a few weeks ago. So that's all dry and set and ready to go. And that just that just create a little scene on the layout um, for to sort of cast your eye, eye on. And obviously, like I said earlier, I did have done some weathering in the track and ballasting around here. This is the main line here. This line here goes, as you can see, to the cement works. So that's all done. And I've grassed all this up as well. See the static grass, how it makes stands on end. So I'll put a little fence along here and all the sidings for the cement works is all weathered as well. And you see it's grassed as well. So it's all already put even some grass between the, the track. So as it doesn't get used much, so that's looking good. So um, so we'll just create more of a scene there. And uh, as we can see, this is the main line running here. So going back to the pond, let's put the camera down. First of all, we've got the colors. So first of all, I've got Hunter's Green undercoat. Um, so I've, I've, I bought two colours, um, both greens, because I, I didn't want to use blue. I thought it'd be more for beach scenes and oceans. I thought and murky water. I didn't really want it because I wanted it too dry. I want a bit of colour. So I've gone for Hunter's Green, and I've gone also for Olive Drab, both woodland scenic paints. And uh, so I thought I'd just see what that looks like out of the tub, and if I want to bit more colour I can mix a bit of that together. So there are the paints for the pond. Next will be this and that is the realistic water and uh, obviously once the paint's dry I'll pour this in and let that set and that'll create the water for the pond. I'll stand that there. And once again there's woodland scenics as well. And then the finishing touch will be this water ripples and as you can see on the picture there it's there get the thing out of the way that, kill, that will give that effect of ripples on the water and what you would get on the pond when the wind's blowing across it or just being disturbed by the by the little rowing boat on the water so that would be the finishing touch to the pond or sort of the finishing touch because the next finishing touch will be this my knock figures um, anglers you got one sitting on his box you got a guy holding a fish up so i might have him standing in, in the rowing boat and have it in the middle of the, the pond and have another mate on the side of the boat with him he can be showing it too and you got guys here 
cast in their, their line from their rod. So I'll have them on the bank and probably this, this guy down here on the shoreline. So um yeah, so I've got that to, to do. I got these from my local model shop, it was local for me here in Norfolk, in Norwich. Um Great Eastern Trains in Norwich. They're, they're a good bunch of people, very helpful, very friendly, and offering advice and a good range of anything model railways in scenery, um, locomotives, second hand stuff as well. So they they sell from N gauge up to now O gauge stuff as well. Got to start getting to O gauge as well. So so if you're in Norwich and give them a look. So I said they're good good ones to go and see. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna start painting the um video um the pond and uh and see uh how it comes out like so see how it goes and um, see part three <laughs> 